Hi, my name is Vladislav. This is my first tutorial for JavaScript, and I'm going to create a series of tutorials for JavaScript. A couple of people asked me to create a subtitles for certain tutorials in my channel that they've been posted, but I decided to create the tutorials. So hope you like them, and if you do, just click the like button. In this tutorial, we're going to start with the introduction of JavaScript, and you, if you're not a programmer or if you're a designer but you don't know any language, it doesn't matter. JavaScript can be your first language, but instead of having problems, learn JavaScript with HTML2. It will be best, because at some level in JavaScript you need HTML, and there's tutorials, a lot of tutorials in, in the internet. There are like video ones and not videos. So what's actually JavaScript and why should we use it? First thing, JavaScript is a very cool language because we can use it server-side and client-side. What client-side and server-side means that the client-side part is that user sees it doesn't matter what. Uh, it could be applications, um, it could be some animations, it could be some dynamic effects and everything actually you see in one side that's a client side thing and the other part the other part is server side maybe if you have experience in some development stuff with the server side languages for example if you know PHP or you're a PHP developer it doesn't matter um, this is the server side part and I'm not talking about server side with PHP I'm talking server side with JavaScript because we can do that uh, there are a lot of frameworks and a lot of engines for that reason we're going to use them at some level of our tutorials but for now we're going to start small and the first thing we're going to do is to meet the syntax so um, how I said server side is the part when the users not seeing but it's very important because for example we can create a site only with JavaScript and I'm I don't talk about site for example only that user sees, but I'm talking about a registration forms, maybe some HTML part two, but you know, maybe some registration forms that uh, there is MySQL connects, some databases get set from database, and everything you know actually. So yes, we can do that only with JavaScript, and the other part is uh, if you don't like JavaScript and you're a designer it's best for you to learn it because for example if you want to create some animation and your design is looking some like it's not very cool if your design has no dynamics in it and if you're a very cool um, not cool but very good designer that creates awesome designs there should be some some motion in your design I don't know, this is my opinion and I think the clients look for that but it depends on the reason or the type of design you're creating so uh, the next thing we should talk is what we're going to meet and just one thing if you want to see my tutorials go to basebunker.com or go to my channel youtube.com and slash Mr. Crozer. here there are lot of, lots of tutorials um, most of them are on Bulgarian, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna create this series of JavaScript tutorials. Next thing is that um, we're going to meet some server-side frameworks and engines. One of them is Node.js. You can find it at address nodejs.org. Here's some introduction of the framework, and that guy here talks about them. And this is. A this is a one hour and six minutes introduction, so uh, it's interesting. I've watched it, and our thing is we're going to meet the Ajax, uh, Ajax Push Engine. This is another server side engine that uh, has a lot of functionalities. The cool part here is that uh, a lot of server side JavaScript frameworks and engines offer us the opportunity or one of the opportunities that the server side offers us, it depends what we're using, is maybe client to client sockets 
or we can access our file system for example not on the browser but we can access the file system on the hard drive that our computer uses and here you can see the documentation that is in front actually the MySQL functions check the engines here are some demos this is a demo too I think this was some chat that's a client to client chat and or maybe client to server I don't know just check it and other thing is that these two are frameworks and engines but um, there's something cool about JavaScript in these days like there's new language that's called Dart and this is a Google language, a new one and if you want to start with it, it won't be a problem it will be a little hard for you, I think because Dart is actually based on JavaScript uh, but it offers the opportunity to write on object-oriented programming or OOP so the structure of the code is more uh, more different than the than the JavaScript one but uh, it's the same actually Dart language and JavaScript are the same and if you know for example the syntax of Java or the syntax of C Sharp or any common syntax to these languages to those languages this will be very easy for you and I'm not going to talk about Dart for now maybe we're going to introduce it in the further tutorials and let's go on the next thing is jQuery we're going to use that in a lot of tutorials how I said for the start we're going to meet the syntax with only JavaScript but then we're going to use jQuery as a library for JavaScript because uh, it offers a lot of functionalities for example if you know the syntax of JavaScript you know that is very awful I don't like it and all the times I use jQuery instead of JavaScript but of course when we say we use, we use J, jQuery in, instead of JavaScript we mean that this is a library and one way or the other we are using JavaScript so when I say jQuery it means jQuery and JavaScript here you can see the documentation there's a lot of things effects and animations I don't know check it check them there's a live demos here I think only Ajax don't doesn't have a live demos and actually um, the structure and the syntax of jQuery is more easier from the JavaScript one and here are a lot of functionalities uh, and the documentation is explained very well very well so this was from the for the introduction and actually I'm gonna say one more thing um, another cool thing is that HTML5 is coming and there are a lot of functionalities that you can use with HTML, HTML5 so I'm gonna talk about them too because HTML5 has a lot of opportunities that you can use actually yes yes uh, for now there are not so many but you have them and for example one of the one of them is the canvas that uh, offers you the opportunity to draw you can draw shapes and stuff and when you do some more experience not experience but more advanced programs with canvas they can be very cool it depends on what you're doing so I'm gonna talk about these two uh, check the series this is the first of them the first tutorial of them so be on bye bye